Hi, and congratulations on the purchase of your new Wi-Fi thermostat from Hotwire Heating. This video will talk you through how to program the various settings from the touchscreen unit. We do suggest connecting it to your Google Home System or Amazon Alexa and programming via the app. However, if you do need to program from the touchscreen thermostat, this video will show you how to do it. There are other videos showing you how to connect it to the app and connect it to, the, to your Wi-Fi system. So let's get started. Simply touch the screen anywhere and it will come alive. The very first step is to set the date and the time. So press menu and then user setting. You can see the different options on the screen now. Simply touch date and adjust accordingly. When you're finished, press save. Repeat the process for the local time. You have the option to use 24 hour time or if you've connected to your Wi-Fi system to sync with the network time. When you've set the time, press save. You can choose your unit of measurement in Fahrenheit or Celsius. You can also adjust the display brightness, the time it takes for the screen saver to activate, and a child lock should you choose. Once you've finished selecting all the settings and adjusting them to what your preferences are, simply press back. You can also adjust some of the more advanced settings simply by pressing advanced settings. We don't suggest you adjust anything on this screen as it does affect the functions of the system. The only thing you may need on this screen is a factory reset if you have made a mistake or you can't work out the programming. So please don't touch anything on this screen unless absolutely necessary. Press back. You can then adjust the heating schedule you can view or edit the schedule or reset just the schedule to the factory settings. Simply press view. The first line indicates the time at which the system will switch on in the morning and the temperature at which it will heat to. As you can see, it is set for 7 a.m. and to heat to 22 degrees. You can adjust that by simply touching it on the screen and adjust up and down accordingly. When you're satisfied, press save. The second line is the time at which the system will switch off in the morning. Again, to adjust, simply touch and adjust accordingly. We do suggest at this setting, you set the temperature to the minimum, which is 10 degrees. This will make sure it does not switch on during the day. When you're satisfied, press save. Repeat the process for the time at which you want the system to switch on in the evening. And again, you will note that the temperature is set when we want it to switch off down to 10 degrees. The mode is set to five plus two days, which enables you to have the same settings every day of the week, but different settings on the weekend. If you wish to have different settings every day of the week, simply press five plus two, and then when you press the next arrow, it will alternate to every day of the week rather than the same thing every day. When you're satisfied with the settings, simply press back. And back again to get back to the main screen. If you simply want to operate your thermostat in manual mode, you can see on the screen, the temperature is set to that 10 degrees we set on the heating schedule and it's indicating that it's going to stay at that until 6 p.m. If you want to turn the thermostat on manually and have it activate outside those times, simply increase the temperature to the temperature you want. You'll see the heating indicator has appeared on the screen. It's now saying it's going to hold that temperature until 1.57, which is an hour from now. If you press the hold button, you can adjust how long that system will stay on manual mode for. 
you can put it on permanent hold so it stays on manual all the time or you can press holiday mode which means your settings will be held until you turn it out of holiday mode. So you can comfortably go away knowing that your floor heating is not activating whilst you're away. When you're satisfied with your settings, press save. Another option is to lock the screen so that visitors or perhaps small people in your house don't adjust the settings after you've spent all the time putting them in. To activate the child lock, simply press and hold the up arrow. You'll see that after a few seconds, a person and a little padlock appears on the screen. To unlock, repeat the process by pressing the down arrow. And the padlock is now gone. So that covers all the basic settings of the Hotwire Wi-Fi thermostat. If you do have any other questions, please contact our office or simply send us an email. Again, congratulations on the purchase of your new Hotwire thermostat. We know you and your family will love being hotwired.